Hello, this is Peter Rezicek from ShadowTrader.net, and this is a short instructional video showing you how to install the tick values and distribution think script into your tick chart here in your quad on your Thinkorswim platform. So, first thing to do is let's get the script, which of course is available for free at ShadowTrader.net. So, we'll go to our site. From the home page, select Premium Services. Once on Premium Services, you will select Think Scripts. That will take you down to here, and you will scroll all the way down and select Tick Values and Distribution. Click on More Details, and your script will be here. So as always, you want to use the left button on your mouse and click it right here and select everything, holding your mouse button down until you get to the bottom, and then either Control-C or right-click copy and put all that onto the clipboard. So once you've got that copied on your clipboard you can minimize the website and you'll want to open up the tick screen full size, click on studies in the upper right and select edit studies which will bring up the edit studies and strategies box. And we want to create a new study so we're going to go here on the left hand side and we're going to click new right here. That brings up the Think Script Editor. Click here on the end of the first line and backspace to erase everything on that first line and then paste your code. Right click and paste, select paste or control V and paste your code right in. If your code turns purple and some green then you've probably done it correctly. If you don't have purple and green here in the box then you've probably cut and pasted it wrong and you're missing some code or something so since it looks like we're good to go we're going to give it a name and I already have it saved as tick values distribution so if for this demonstration I'll just call it T V D for tick values and distribution click OK hit apply you can see that it puts the script here and now your tick chart shows the dynamic bubble here in the upper left showing you what the high tick reading of the day is. That's right up here, right? And what the low tick reading of the day has been uh, thus far. What this script also does is it will put little arrows here. If you have a 15 minute bar closing above the zero line or below, right? So wherever a 15 minute bar closes above the zero line, you can get these little marks here. If it's below, you get these little marks here and you can customize that. And the point of this is so that you can see at a glance very quickly how many 15 minute bars over the course of the day have closed above zero or below zero. So going back into our studies to customize, click on the little gear and I'll walk you through the different customizations that it has. Show the little, show distribution arrows you want. I have that on yes. Those are the distribution arrows you see here. Show cloud. You can turn that on if you want to say yes. And then what it'll do is Notice it'll make the area between plus 1,000 and minus 1,000 ticks cloudy like that. Some people like to have that so then they can see you know, when the ticks go out of the cloud. Um, I prefer to have mine off. You can set the threshold for here and here for the top and bottom, plus 1,000, minus 1,000. Distribution arrow level, basically that just shows where the little arrows will print. So it's set to minus 1300 and plus 1300. You can see that's where they'll print. Uh, show high, low, you can turn that on and off. That's the boxes here in the upper left. And then on the bottom, you can uh, change it around a little bit to show how you want these little things to occur. Uh, I prefer to have just very clean little arrows. So I change mine to arrow like that for the distribution up. And hold on one second. Change those to arrows, distribution down. Change those little arrows. You can select whatever you like. You can select the uh, the width, the thickness, whatever you like. Click apply, and you can see there now I've just got very clean little arrows. You can choose uh, whatever you like again, right? Put that there. And then, of course, as always, remember if you want to make sure that this gets saved in your quad and it'll always be there when you close your platform, reopen it or whatever, you click in the upper right hand here 
and I already have this whole quad saved as NICE internals, you would click Save Grid As. You would type here in the box, call it, you know, Joe's internals or whatever you want, or your, you know, my quad, whatever you want. You save your layout as, and then that'll save your layout there. And that way, if you ever change this around uh, to a different layout, you can always get it back and have the quad uh, back the way you had it with the scripts that you had uh, then installed. All right. So that is how you install the tick values and distribution script on your Thinkorswim platform.